Hello friends, this video on body fluids and circulation part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will talk about another important part of the heart that is the nodal tissues. So these are specialized tissues which are present in the heart and they play a very important role in the process of circulation. So what are we trying to do now is we first are we are first trying to understand the different uh, things which are present inside the heart whether you talk about the blood vessels or you talk about the chambers which are present in the heart or the valves which are present in the heart or the nodal tissues. So once we know all of them then we can uh, combine all our knowledge to understand the functioning of the heart so that will be easier. So let us now try to talk about the nodal tissues what is so special about them. Now these are specialized tissues that can act as both muscle as well as nervous tissue. So this is very very unique as well as interesting. Now what do I mean by something which can act as both muscle tissue and nervous tissue. Now nervous tissue is something that has the uniqueness of responding to stimuli responding to situations right when you touch a hot cup of coffee you immediately remove your hand so which tissue plays a role there that is the nervous tissue because they have this capacity to uh, to understand the presence of a stimulus and then react accordingly now what is the role of the mus muscle tissue in this case the role of muscle tissue is in the movement of your hand. So when you actually move your hand back, what is happening? Now, as soon as you touch the hot cup of coffee, a signal goes to your brain, which, is, which senses that, okay, this is hot. And then the brain actually, or the nervous tissue actually sends a signal to your muscle tissue that, okay, now start moving. And then your muscle tissue expands and contracts. And that expansion and contraction actually helps you in moving your hand. So the muscle tissue is involved in the movement, but it is the nervous tissue which controls the movement of the muscle tissue. The muscle tissue cannot move on its own. Right? So you're getting that idea, right? So muscle tissue can perform its job from a, a signal from the nervous tissue or from instructions from nervous tissue. But in case of these nodal tissues which are present in the heart, they can act as both muscle tissue as well as nervous tissue. That is, they can cause movements, they can cause contraction and expansion and also they can auto signal themselves. They do not need a signal from the uh, brain every time or they do not need it from some other specialized organ every time they can do it themselves so this is the speciality of the nodal tissues now we will talk about the different nodal tissues which are present inside the heart now contraction of the nodal tissues generate nerve impulses that can travel throughout the cardiac wall now this is how the impulses, now whenever impulses get generated, they need to be conducted also. Now the conduction of impulses take place inside the heart through the walls of the heart. Now these impulses actually again in, in excites some other uh, cells of the heart and again cause contraction somewhere else. Right? So this contraction of nodal tissue and this ability of nodal tissue to generate nerve impulse plays the vital role in the process of circulation or in the functioning of the heart. Now, now let us talk about the concept of heartbeat so that you can actually relate where the nodal tissue plays a role. Now, we all know that the heart keeps on beating continuously. Do you think that every time the heart beats, every time it uh, this beating of the heart is because of expansion and contraction of the uh, cardiac muscles which are present in the heart. Now, do you think that every time the muscle movement takes place, the, her heart receives a signal from the brain? In that case, brain will be 24 by 7 busy only with the beating of the heart, right? But that does not happen. Heart does not need any signaling from the brain for in order to beat. So the beating of the heart is actually auto-controlled by the tissues which are present in the heart itself. And this beating of the heart is possible because of these nerve impulses which get generated within the heart. And who generates these nerve impulses? It is not the brain but the nodal tissues which are present in the heart. 
Now very soon you will understand it more clearly as we discuss more about it. So now you've got an idea that nodal tissues are something which are going to generate impulses like how the nervous system generates impulses, something like that. Of something of that sort, these nodal tissues are going to generate inside the heart and because of these impulses, the heart is able to beat over a periodic interval of time. So the beating happens very periodically. Now these nodes are responsible for automatic nature of heartbeat. As I said just now, if you cannot, the, the brain cannot be involved in the process of heartbeat. Otherwise, all other work of the brain will be going for a toss. So this automatic automaticity of the heartbeat is because of the nodal tissues. Now there are two nodes which play a very important role in the cardiac cycle. Now we are going to specifically discuss about those two nodes. So what are they? One is the sinoatrial node which is also abbreviated as SAN and the other one is the AV node or the atrioventricular node which is abbreviated as AVN. So where are they located? Let us have a look. Now this is the heart. The yellow colored highlighted structures denotes the node. So this is the sinoatrial node. If you see, it is located on the wall of the auricle. So this is the auricle, right? The right auricle. That is why the name sinoatrial node because it is located on the wall of the auricle. And the other one is the atrioventricular node. Where is it located? It is located on the wall of the auricle and ventricle. The wall which is separating auricle and ventricle, it is located on that wall. So this is the atrioventricular node. So these two nodes play an important role in the cardiac cycle. Now we will see who generates the impulse first, how the impulse gets uh, conducted to other parts of the heart and how exactly this process happens. So in order to know that, we will first have to discuss about the SA node that is the sinoatrial node and the AV node or the atrioventricular node in detail. Now hereafter I will be using the short forms that is SA node and AV node. So please uh, be aware of that. Okay, so let us first talk about SAN that is the SA node. This coordinates the contractions of the heart. Now, this is the node which actually initiates the rhythmic movement of the heart or initiates the process of contraction of the heart. How does it do that? We'll see that. Now, where is it located? It is located in the upper wall of the right auricle. So, if you see, this is the right auricle and in the upper wall of the right auricle. And since it is located on the auricle wall, that is why it is called sinoatrial node. What does it do? It generates impulse that cause auricles to contract. Now, as soon as the sinoatrial node generates an impulse, this impulse sends a signal to the auricles that, okay, now it's time for you to contract and the auricles start contracting. Now, how the auricles are able to contract? Because the walls of the heart, the entire heart structure-wise is made up of cardiac muscles and the cardiac muscles are capable of contraction and expansion. Now, as soon as this impulse is generated, the muscles of the auricle walls start to contract and as a result, the entire auricle as a chamber start to contract. Now, once the auricle contracts, several other things or several other events take place. For example, the, due to auricular contraction, some of the valves get closed, some of the valves get opened and the entire process starts. This is just the start of the process. And this start is initiated by the sinoatrial node. If the sinoatrial node does not generate an impulse, in that case there will be no contraction of the auricles and the process of heartbeat will not take place at all. Now since it initiates, since it is the initiator, that is why it is often known as the pacemaker. Pace means speed. So it is, sinoatrial node is the one which create speed or which creates this beating or initiates the beating of the heart. So it is called as the pacemaker, right? Okay, so this sinoatrial node has the speciality of generating an impulse which you can also say that it, it generates an action potential. Because of this potential, the uh, chambers of the heart tend to contract or expand or whatever. 
okay so this is about the sinoatrial node what about the avn that is the atrioventricular node so what does it do it delays and relays the cardiac impulses now once the impulse is generated by the sinoatrial node then it, the impulse is conducted to the atrioventricular node so it actually receives the cardiac impulse and it relays it forward i mean it sends it to other parts so that is one part purpose that is it relays the impulses and it also delays the impulses now as soon as the sinoatrial node initiates an impulse it goes to the av node but av node does not send it immediately it wait for a very few seconds not even seconds say you can say microseconds so for a very small amount of time it get it delays the cardiac impulses and then sends it forward now where forward where does it send because we have been talking about only these two nodes so what is there after the atrioventricular node now this atrioventricular node is located at the bottom of the right auricle so that is why it is called atrioventricular node because bottom of the right auricle is then next connected to the right ventricle so you can say it is located on the wall between right auricle and right ventricle that is why the name atrioventricular node now let us see what happens after this now this generates the impulses down the av bundle now after the atrioventricular node there is an av bundle which continues to run from the av node and this atrioventricular this yellow line which you see that is nothing but the atrioventricular bundles or av bundles this av bundles passes through the av septum or the atrioventricular septum to emerge on the top of the interventricular septum so basically you see this av bundle it passes through the atrioventricular septum that is the partition between auricle and ventricle it crosses that then it reaches to the interventricular septum that is the wall which separates the two ventricles it reaches still there now once it reaches the interventricular septum you see this is the right auricle and this is the right ventricle this is the left ventricle so this is actually the wall which separates the two ventricles you see this red colored wall okay so once it reaches once this av bundle reaches the uh, this interventricular septum it gets divided into two branches one is the right bundle and the other one is the left bundle so this is the right bundle towards the right side this is the left bundle towards the left side now these branches again further divide into thinner branches so you can see here some thinner branches coming out of these branches so these thinner branches are on both sides so on both right as well as left sides these are known as purkinje fibers and it is named after the person who discovered it for the first time so these are known as the purkinje fibers right so this is how the impulses which were initially generated by the sinoatrial node will reach the other parts of the heart now these purkinje fibers along with the right bundle and the left bundle all of these together is known as the bundle of his now what is this name bundle of his now this is named after the scientist wilhelm his who was also a cardiologist and he discovered it for the first time in 1893 so it is named after wilhelm his who discovered it for the first time in 1893 right so this is how the structure of the nodal tissues are now what happens when the signal reaches the av node now av node sends the signal forward into the av bundle from av bundle it reaches the purkinje fibers now if you see the purkinje fibers reaches the ventricles both the right ventricle as well as the left ventricle and this is how the signals also reach the center of the heart or it reaches the ventricles of the heart now as soon as the ventricle ventricles get the signal the ventricles also tend to contract like how when the auricles got the signals or when the impulses were generated in the auricles the auricles contracted similarly when the signals reach the ventricles the ventricles also tend to contract
So here what happens, the, there are fiber-like structures extending from the AV node, they are called AV bundle as I discussed. AV bundle further divides into the right and left bundle which in turn divides into minute fibers called the Purkinje fibers. And this AV bundle and Purkinje fibers, they are together known as bundle of his. Okay, so now with this discussion, it is clear that these nodal tissues, they generate electric impulses and then conduct the impulses to different parts of the heart. The impulse is generated in the auricle by the sinoatrial node. From there, it is conducted till the center of the heart and from there it actually gets conducted to the ventricles through the bundle of hills. So now the, once the signal reaches the ventricles, the ventricles also tend to contract. Now the question is now we got enough idea about the various things which are present in the heart. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.